Hey, what's up, my Acers? GamerGuy7 Aces, and today, for the first time in eight months, I am making another update video. Why? Because I've hit 16,000 subscribers. Yeah, 16,000 subscribers, and I'd like to thank all of you guys for helping me reach this goal. You know, um, I actually was going to make a update video when I hit 15k subs because, uh, you know, that's halfway to my ultimate goal this year, which is 20,000 subscribers. But because of the stupid YouTube purge, you know, when I hit 15,000 subscribers, they took away over 300 subs from my channel. So I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to wait until I hit 16k because, I mean, I'm not going to celebrate 15k subs again, you know? So now that I hit 16k subs, I can finally make an update video, and wow, it's been a long time since I've made an update video. The last time I did that is when I hit 10,000 subscribers back in early December 2015. I actually hate or I dislike, you know, making update videos because, I don't know, like a lot of people like making update videos to update the fans, and I like doing that, but just the process of editing, I'm just going to show gameplay of uh, the Olympics, and right now I'm guesstimating that I should be hitting my goal around the opening ceremony of the Olympics, or the Olympics start tomorrow from when I'm recording this, so, so what better footage for me to show than to showcase Mario and Sonic at the Rio Olympic Games 2016, and uh, yeah, this is actually the first time I'm doing the Olympic Games on my channel, you know, you know, it's just hard for me to get into the Olympic Games, I've been like making promises that I would actually, you know, LP one, but then I lose interest. You know, I am not fond of the Mario and Sonic Olympic Games, but hey, now I have a reason to, to do it on my channel because I'm making an update video. So while you're enjoying watching my gameplay, get to hear me talk about, you know, uh, updates and, and everything that I got planned for my channel. But alright, a lot has happened in the past eight months, so you know, now I actually have stuff to talk about. Because before, I used to do an update video every time I hit a thousand subs, a thousand. And, you know, now I basically, it just got a lot. Like, I have like I went from 5,000 to 10,000 last year. So I did, like, what, like, freaking six plus update videos, which was crazy. So, yeah, because I basically hit a thousand subs every month now. But now I have a lot of things to talk about. So, let's first talk about my ultimate goal when I hit 10,000 subs last year in December my goal was to hit 20k subs this year and I'm pretty sure no matter how many purges YouTube does you know let's hope they don't do one again but they will never prevent me from hitting my goal of 20,000 subscribers this year so you know I'm counting on you guys my Acer army to help me reach 20k subs and uh, yeah okay let's, let's get right to my updates first I want to talk about getting back on schedule you know um ever since I started med school back in January this year in the beginning of this year I've been very busy I've had to cut back on a lot of things namely live streaming if, if you guys notice I haven't live streamed at all this year like you know when YouTube gaming started back in September I was live streaming crazy I live streamed the whole of Resident Evil Revelations 2. I live streamed so many games. I live streamed the rest of LEGO Dimensions. But like, you know, basically live streaming is completely dead on my channel. Kind of like YouTube gaming. Speaking of which, like, what happened to YouTube gaming? That's like completely dead. It's funny though, because last year we all thought YouTube gaming was going to destroy Twitch. Twitch ain't dead at all. Like, Twitch is actually going stronger than before. So YouTube Gaming, I think it was kind of a flop, but whatever, you know. If I live stream again, it will still be on YouTube Gaming just because, you know, I'm not a live stream guy, so why would I use Twitch, you know? But yeah, so um, I'll get back on that. Also, co-ops and stuff, you know, just the games I play are mostly LEGO games now, and LEGO games don't really have online co-op. But uh, yeah, you know, hopefully I'll get into those like near the end of the year for the holidays. I can't make any promises because my program is a two-year program. And, you know, I'm always going to be busy because that's life, you know, I'm intending on making a career, you know. One of these days I might be called a doctor, so I'll be called Dr. Gamer Guy 7 Aces, you know. <laughs> and, you know, at the end of the day, I do these all for hobbies, you know. Yes, the money I make helps me a lot, you know. To The money I make on my channel helps me to continue, you know, pushing great content. And my content has been getting better and better over the years. But at the end of the day, I can't make, you can't make a career out of YouTube. You know, for, for the people who do make YouTube a career, good for you. Or people like me, I, I I have bigger goals in life. You know, I want a, a career and stuff. So, yep. All right. So, uh, yeah, I hope to get back to schedule. There's a lot of LPs I want to finish and stuff. And, um, yeah, there's a lot I want to finish. Like, I want to finish LEGO Harry Potter. You know, I got to finish LEGO Star Wars Force Awakens. There's a lot of LEGO games that I want to finish. So, um, you know, I don't know if I should talk about this now. 
but um hmm, i think i might save it for later you know this update video is going to be very sonic heavy there's a lot of sonic news i gotta talk about because you know sonic has been very absent on my channel with the exception of sonic theories sonic theories is the only sonic related thing i've been doing for the past year so yeah speaking of sonic let's talk about the most important sonic thing on my channel sonic theories and trademarking as you guys have noticed sonic theory on my channel has grown exponentially in the past eight months. Like Sonic Theory has become so huge on my channel. Anytime I comment on a different video, whether it's a gaming video, movie video, people be like, hey, hey, what's up gamer guy? I know your Sonic Theories and either it'll be something positive, like I love your theories, man, I love your content. Or it'll be something negative, like I don't like your content, man. I hate your, your channel or I hate your content. But it's never been anything like really bad, you know? That is for the comment sections, and yeah, we'll get to the comment sections later, you know. I think now I've become, like, my YouTube channel has become so big now, I've now have comment sections become cancerous, you know, but we'll, we'll get to that later. But yeah, basically, Sonic Theory has become huge. Last year, I did five Sonic Theories. The first one, of course, was the Amy Rose last year back in March. Then I went back, revamped Sonic Theory, and I did Knuckles Hallucinations. Then I did the Sonic Speed Theory. Then I did um, the Shadow Theory. And then my friend Husky did like uh, like a mini Theory Omega. So that was actually four theories for me, altogether five. And like for, and this year I've done six so far. I've done Sonic Fan Base Theory. I've done uh, the Donald Trump Dr. Eggman Theory. I did the Sonic Cannibal, you know, Theory Creepypasta. Also did the Tails theory, which is by far the most controversial theory I've ever done. And um, also, um, I've done, wait, well, I think I skipped something. Wait, one, two, three. Oh, never mind. I've done ten theories. Yeah. So I've done five. It's been five and five. And then I ended it with the biggest theory, uh, the theory debate with Sega Scourge. So I just want to say, like, ever since I've done these Sonic theories, like, I, I was talking to Husky, like, yo, dude, I think we've actually started something big. Because now, like, this is the first time I'm witnessing me inspiring other people to do Sonic Theories. Just type Sonic Theory or Sonic Theories plural on YouTube. It's mostly my theories that dominate, right? But you've seen so many other people who have been influenced by me and have done theories. Now, I just want to get this straight. I did not create the concept of Sonic Theories. You know, like, nobody has created the concept of theories. You know, to be honest, the first ever Sonic Theory was from, I think, MatPat which was the, the game theory that's that Mario is faster than Sonic, and then Noggin made a rebuttal. But I mean, like me, make I was the first to make Sonic theories into a series, you know? Me focusing on the lore of Sonic and having respect for the lore of Sonic. And after that, a lot of people have come forth since then, you know? And um, like the biggest person that I've noticed was the Sega Scourge, uh, who started in January this year, and his theories are great. Like when I saw him, I'm like, dang, man, this guy gives my channel, my Sonic theories, a run for its money, you know? And he's actually part of the Sonic show and everything. So I, I met him that way. I actually accidentally uh, stumbled on one of his videos. It was Sonic and the Orca. And then because when I was typing, you know, Sonic Theory to see if, I mean, if other people have done them. And I saw a Sega Scourge. So then and that's how we met. We became friends. And, and that's how we got together. Like, hey, dude, we got to, you know, we got to collaborate for something. And that's how we came up with the idea with the, the Sonic Theory debate, which was really big. You know, like, you know, Team Gamer Guy, Team Scourge really enjoyed that and then you know i found out there were other sonic theories out there like you know like the, the sonic guru who's actually been making sonic theories the longest he just never called it sonic theory he called it like blue blur series um then there's dylan thomas and then also spd64 um if you guys don't know who she is it's super princess daisy 64 be sure to check out her channel you know and um so yeah so all of us got together and i was like you know it was me and scourge we're like you know we should create a group we should call ourselves like the sonic theorists so we're basically like a group like Brain Scratch comms or Hellfire comms or something like that. I'm like, yeah, you, you can think of us like that way. Like, we're basically a group of people that come together. We, you know, we share our ideas. We collaborate every now and then. And yeah, so we're basically like an official Sonic Theorist group. You know, like I'm not saying that there there's not other Sonic Theorists, but like like we're the main group. You know, so it consists of five of us with our Sonic Theorist group. Now we're starting to consider trademarking our group. You know, trademark is a very touchy thing. Here's the thing, you know, there's many ways to do trademarking and there's many bad ways to do trademarking. Like for instance, Gerard the Completionist, he trademarked his name, The Completionist. So that means 
anybody who calls yourself anybody who calls themselves the completionist on YouTube they're basically infringing on his copyright that that's his trademark you can't take that name okay what is the completionist if you guys watch him he 100 percent LPs and stuff he gives a lot of information about them now that doesn't mean that he has a monopoly over that that doesn't mean that nobody else can 100 percent LPs no you can do that you just can't call yourself the completionist and what all of us in the Sonic theories wanted to do was we wanted to protect our brand we wanted to protect our name because when you influence a lot of people there's going to be a lot of copycats and I've dealt with some people who completely you know copied my style and I had to l let them know like hey you know you can't do that my series is called Sonic Theory just like Game Theory I wanted to trademark that and right now we're in the process of trademarking that the Sega Scourge his series is called the Sonic Theorist he wants to trademark that so no one else will call himself the Sonic Theorist you know and Dylan Thomas you know his is called Sonic Theories plural or, or uh, he calls himself DHT Sonic Theories and then Sonic Guru has the blue blur you know he wants to be calling his show the blue blur and you know and basically so on and so forth so we basically want to trademark our names now when I first told my friend at first he was wary about it because you know after the infamous uh, fine brothers they wanted to trademark the word react you know here's the thing we all like to demonize the fine bros but what they did I do not agree I mean what they did I actually agree with them but they did it the wrong way I have no problem with trademarking your brand like you know the kids react to elders react to youtubers react to that's them they can trademark that that is what they started no one should copy them but the problem is they weren't trying to trademark their show they were trying to trademark the word the concept of reacting so that anytime you click you, you type react like gamer guide reacts to or reaction to sonic uh, mania basically I'm infringing on their copyright and and not only that they wanted to create like a network called react world where we anyone who wanted to write react you had to go under them like a network and basically you know you, you get a share of the revenue while they get their share so it was basically they wanted to control things and that's what pissed people people off because it's like wait I can't react to anything I can't write react without you know infringing on your trademark and stuff and that was very stupid that's why they got a lot of dislikes that's why they got a lot of hate you know because you know they were trying to trademark off the word react that's kind of like me trying to trademark the word theory if I do that that'll be totally bad because so many I mean that means that Matt Pat now can't call his show game theory now that's stupid but at the same time when you type game theory it always links to Matt Pat's channel because he's the one that made that into a series so I'm pretty sure he's trademarked that but that's not saying he's the only one that does theories on games you know what I'm saying so yeah so that's basically what we want to say we want to protect our brand and you know I have written to a few people who've called their shows game I mean who called their shows Sonic Theory I have to tell them hey look I've trademarked my series Sonic Theory and you know they've been totally cool about it they renamed it to Sonic Discussioner so that's basically what we want to do because you know we want to protect our brand you know I you know especially I'm the one that started Sonic Theory show a uh, series and I, I don't want other people taking that I want when you type Sonic Theory I want you to see my shows just like when you type Sonic Theorist, the Sonic Theorist, you guys should be seeing Scourge. So I hope I made that clear because, you know, I definitely wanted to tell you guys about that because, you know, I like to fill you in. And, uh, you know, after the Fine Brothers thing, you know, some people have a, a skewed, they have a misguided sense of what trademarking is, you know. So that's basically it. And, uh, yeah. So our group is the Sonic Fears. We have our own logo and everything. The next thing I want to talk about is Sonic Smear Campaign. Now, as all of you Sonic fans have already known, IGN made a very infamous video that has gotten such, so much dislikes. I think it has like over 2,000 dislikes now. It was about basically like they were uh, covering all the games that came out in Comic Con, just Comic Con events. And that whole video was dedicated to Sonic's party. And you know, the two biggest games that came out of Sonic's party was Sonic uh, Mania and Sonic Project 17. And instead of them giving their opinions, they just started ripping. They spent six minutes doing nothing but bashing on Sonic. And it was so horrible. I couldn't even watch all of the six minutes. That was the most unprofessional bullshit I've ever seen. And you know, that pissed off a lot of fans, you know, myself included. They were saying that Sonic was never good. You know, uh, it, it was always sucked and all the fans want to have sex with Big the Cat, which was completely stupid, you know. So, I mean, they totally got what they deserve. But, you know, a lot of people were a little too mad. I told my friend, uh, my friends, I was like, you know what, I'm actually glad they made that video. I'm glad because, you know, finally they exposed themselves. Finally they showed people their true colors that they hate and despise everything Sonic, they're biased towards Sonic, 
And, you know, it's not only IGN. I, I, I've seen two other gaming, so-called gaming sites, completely ripping on Sonic after Sonic's party. Like, I told my friend, I think there is a smear campaign going on right now to totally shit and smear and ruin Sonic's legacy so that his games are, are basically looked down upon. They're trying to ruin the hype. They're trying to smear his, his legacy, you know? And it's just gotten worse and worse after Sonic Boom. So that's what I see, like after, you know, Sonic Boom, last year was all about, oh, with Sonic Adventure games, were they ever good? They all sucked. They didn't age well. When there's a lot of games back then that didn't age well, like Super Mario 64. I mean, yeah, I'm saying 64 is a great game, but that game did not age that well. I mean, they had to remake that on the 64DS. And, uh, yeah, and when I play 64DS, I realized how, how, you know, slippery the original was. And then, you know, you have other games like Star Fox 64, but no, let's not pick on that. Let's pick on Sonic, you know? Even though I will admit, you know, games like Crash Bandicoot were, the, are more, a little bit more polished at the end than Sonic. It's because Crash Bandicoot had much, was more, much more linear, you know? So, yeah, but let's not get into that. And now this year has just been, Sonic sucks. Sonic has always been bad. It's like, you know what? Eco Raptor of Game Grumps should leave Game Grumps. He should join IGN while John Tron should replace Aaron on I mean, Raptor. You know, if Game Grumps were consisted of Danny and John Tron, I would watch everything they posted. But Eco Raptor, he's basically like IGN affiliate. He should just leave Game Grumps and join IGN. It was bad. But despite that, a lot of Sonic fans wanted me to give my thoughts on that or to like one person said, hey, are you going to make a Sonic theory about IGN? Like one of my comments, which got a lot of thumbs up on that video, I was like, aww, did Sega refuse to pay you guys again? How much was it this time? So, so this one guy wanted me to make a Sonic theory saying, Sonic theory, did Sega refuse to pay IGN? Is that why IGN hates Sonic? I'm like, no, I'm not going to make any Sonic, I'm not going to make any video about that. I especially am not going to make a Sonic theory on that. That would be a waste of my time. That would be a waste of YouTube bandwidth, you know? But, you know, I decided, you know, I'm not going to do what everyone, every other Sonic fan is doing. I'm just going to talk about it in my 16,000 subscriber update video. But, yeah, like, you know, I'm just, I'm just not, I just don't care. I don't care what they say, you know? This is going to be the year of Sonic and next year, you know? The year of Sonic starts, people say, oh, it starts with Sonic Mania next year. No, the year of Sonic starts with Sonic Boom, Fire, and Ice. Yeah, you heard me. Because that game is going to be a good game, you know? Now, I mean, I do have, I did have some problems with that before. And it was mainly because, you know, my problem with Fire and Ice at first was the concept of speed. I didn't like how speed was automated. There's a lot of automated speed sections. And you couldn't go back. But I saw more of it, like, especially the bot racing. And that looked like fun. And you know what? I just come to accept that it's a different game. You know, you got Sonic Mania, which is definitely going to be a superior game. But Sonic Boom, Fire and Ice, for what it is, is going to be a good game. And it's going to get good reviews, I'm sure. And then we got Sonic and Lego Dimensions. So the year of Sonic starts next month, in my opinion. So I don't care whatever, I don't care what the hell the haters say. They're just trying their best to discredit Sonic. And I'm not going to have any of that. I'm not going to waste my time talking about them, you know. I want to keep my channel positive because Sonic is back. They can continue dick riding Mario. My thing is if Sonic 1 came out in 1985, everyone would be dick riding Sonic, saying how it saved the gaming industry, you know. So they can continue dick riding Mario and especially Call of Duty. I don't care, you know? That's all I have to say. Why should I even make a video talking about the Sonic critics? Because to be honest, the people that have shown more hate to my channel has been the Sonic fanboys. You know, just take a look at my Tales Theory video. The comment section is cancerous. Like one of my friends, Dylan, was like, oh my God, your comment section is such cancer, but I love it. And I was like, yeah, dude, you know? Because all because I wrote a what if theory about hey what if Tails is gay you know and I gave some evidence to, to that to back it up but it's a theory it's not fact and for the record guys I don't even believe in that theory Tails is I don't believe that Tails is gay Tails is obviously straight that was just a what if theory some people call it a fan fiction to me it's just a what if theory on um, what what would happen you know and people took that way too damn seriously you know way too damn seriously you guys don't even need my help like i shouldn't even defend y'all i shouldn't even defend you guys because especially for what i've endured for sonic theories you know it's a good thing i got a thick skin because you know it's been crazy but yeah so that's all i want to say about that you know i i still so like a lot of you guys still show a lot of support for my sonic theories but that game it's like i mean that theory is the dislike bar is like over i think 600 or 700 now there's more likes on it but it's just slightly more likes than dislikes it's like, wow, all because I said Tails was gay? Like, 
and that'll tell you how many homophobic people there are, you know? But let's not get into that. Okay, now the next thing I want to talk about is Sonic games returning on my channel. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, I haven't really played any Sonic games on my channel this year. The last Sonic game I LP'd on was uh, Sonic 06 last year back in uh, September. Ever since then, I've just been doing nothing but LEGO games and other games, but Sonic is making a comeback on my channel. And now that I've hit 16,000 subscribers, the Sonic game that I am going to do will be Sonic Adventure DX. Oh, yes. Now, for those of you who've been subscribed to my channel since last year, you, I did. I tried to do a live stream of Sonic Adventure DX, and I did it, but I, I didn't even beat Sonic Story yet. And that one was very bad. I deleted that one because I was doing it blindly, and I was stuck in, you know, a lot of places. So I'm going to do it all over again. This time it's not going to be a live stream. I'm going to do post-commentary. And it's going, I'm going to do the whole game. I'm going to do all the characters, all six stories, and the final story. So yeah, because I did Sonic Adventure 2 last year in the summer when I did Season of Sonic. So I'm like, you know what? I got to do Sonic Adventure DX. Yes, I know every channel has done that game to death, but I have it on my channel. So if you guys love watching me do stuff on my channel, you'll definitely be excited. You'll definitely support me when I do Sonic Adventure DX. So that's going to be me. So I'm going to make sure to do that game and complete it before Sonic Boom, Fire, and Ice comes out. So, yep. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is um, an album I did early last year for my early subscribers. A collab album called My Year. Now, a lot of you guys who subscribed to me since then, um, you know, I did a, an album called My Year. And uh, it was a very ambitious project where I collaborated with a lot of YouTube musicians. And, you know, we, we made music. The track, I had 10 tracks on my album. It was very great. It was mostly me rapping. Sometimes I was playing the piano. And, you know, like, like for you guys who don't know, I'm very musically inclined. You know, I've been playing the piano since I was eight years old. It's like for the past 18 years, you know. So I, I'm very, I'm pretty much a musician. And, you know, a lot of people who have subscribed to me, uh, especially for my Sonic Theories, don't know that musical side. Because that a video I did actually got blocked worldwide. Because the, um, basically that was before I became a managed partner. Now there's a difference between being partnered and managed. You know, when you're partnered, you can still get claimed. And all, all like that whole video got claimed completely. You know, like it, it was claimed by all the different kinds of music record companies and labels. So that video was blocked worldwide. I didn't even realize. So I deleted that video. But you know, now that I've been managed since December, I can actually post that video again and I and it won't get blocked. But here's the thing, my channel has grown a lot since then back then i had like 5,000 subscribers now i have 16,000. so that's over 10,000 of you who've never seen that video before so you know my audience has changed so i'm thinking you know should i post that again or not i'm gonna put that as a poll so if you click the i button on my video i'm gonna basically uh the question is do you do you guys want to see that my year collab album again on my channel so it's gonna say yes or no because I don't know if I should put it again, you know, because now in retrospect, it's like, eh, I'm not embarrassed by it, but it's just, you know, a lot of you people subscribe to me because of my Sonic theories and stuff, man. You know, maybe you're not going to like that or it's not going to, you know, sing well with you and, you know, um, but, you know, so I don't know. So if you guys want me to post that, re-upload that again, I will. If not, then I'll just, you know, ignore it. At least, you know, for my early subscribers, you saw that it was something I did and I'm happy. I'm proud of it. You know, and um, yeah, you know, I'm thinking about either posting that on my birthday, October 11th, or posting it at New Year's Eve since it's called my year. But anyway, I want to wrap this up because it's getting too long. But yeah, by November of this year, my channel will turn five years old. Yeah, I started my channel back in November 28th, 2011. I didn't start posting until January 2012, but you get the point. So as I approach five years on my channel, that's a pretty big deal, you know? So I just like to thank all of you guys for. You know the continued support i honestly would i honestly wouldn't believe that my channel would be here five years later you know so i'm definitely going to make a special video you know for my 50 or five year anniversary or whatever you want to call it so that's pretty big you know i started my channel at the same time sonic generations came out sonic generations is one of the reasons why i started a channel because i love that game and i wanted to lp that game at the time but you know i didn't have a i didn't have a playstation 3. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this update video. It's pretty long. We're really going to have to edit this and cut this back. But yeah, I had a lot of things to say because it was eight months of no update videos. Um, you know, I won't make another update video until, you know, my five-year anniversary. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. 
continue to support my channel. Stay tuned for the next Sonic Theory I'm doing this month. It's definitely going to be about Project Sonic 2017. So yeah, once again, thank you. And if you're watching this, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Join the Acer Army. So, I mean, I keep on saying thank you. I don't know how to end this, but yeah. Uh, thanks for your continued support, guys. No words can describe it. And uh, yeah, take care. And until next time, swag out.